Ten minutes later now, I've connected a heavy black wire from the negative terminal of the battery, routing it up and into my charge controller right there at the, one of the negative common leads. That's just part of our plan. All of the negatives are going to go here on these two connectors, all held in common, both from the battery and the solar panels. Naturally then, I'm now contemplating my next step, connecting this other negative common terminal to one of the solar panels. I have decided on which solar panel will be positive and which will be negative. To do that, I designated this one to connect over to this one. I connected the negative lead of this one directly to the positive lead of this one, liberating the negative lead of this one to be the most negative and liberating the positive lead of this one to be the most positive. This is the usual way of connecting these guys. They're done in series and that tends to add up their voltage. Having made that decision, designated this one as my negative panel, I'm now going to get a long wire connected to that terminal and route it all the way across my pavilion here, down and into the charge controller right here where it'll join the other negative leads from the battery um, in common. 20 minutes later, here it is. I connected a long wire using the industry standard connector and I've routed it over my pavilion. Notice I left a lot of slack in it. That'll give me time to tidy it up later and I'll nail it all up so that it's pretty. But I routed it all the way across here like this. It comes down through that coil and routes into my charge controller right here in common with the fatter wire to the battery. Now with my negative commons all wired up, I can pay attention to the positives. I'll route one wire next from this terminal to the battery through this fuse right here and down to the positive terminal of the battery. And 10 minutes later, still prototyping, I've got that red wire from the battery terminal of my charge controller running down through this fuse and all the way down into the positive terminal of the battery. That was easy. One last circuit remains. I need to connect the positive, it says PV or photovoltaic load terminal, all the way through this fuse and then back up through a long wire to the positive terminal of this solar panel clear over here. Now I'm not going to do this while the sun is shining. I'll make that last connection in the dark. But I can begin with the part that goes to the fuse. So I'll now run a wire from this terminal right here on my charge controller, the positive photovoltaic uh, source terminal down to my fuse right here, the solar panel. And we'll get ready to hook that last wire then from the solar panel to here. Five minutes later, one more wire added and we're almost done. I just added this wire, which goes down this side of the fuse. So we're going to be ready to route energy from the solar panel here through the fuse. It'll go back up into the charge controller. Now, with the fuses removed, I cannot have any connection. So I think I can safely, if I'm careful, wire the remaining power connector from that last solar panel. So I'm going to string the last long wire. I'll route it up like the other one, coming down here, and it will go right to there. But with the fuse switch lever out, there's no connection. I think I can do that in safety. I won't actually connect it up until it's dark. That'll finish it. Well, half an hour later now, half an hour later now, I have installed the very last wire. You can see this rat's nest of wires leading from the uh, solar panels. I had the negative one in place before. Now I've added the positive wire and it's routed similar to the negative one across the uh, pavilion down through these coils and into the fuse switch right there 
so that uh, you can see it coming in, actually right here. Going in, it'll go through that fuse and up into my charge controller. Why not decide to hook it up? Now, I've got the fuses here, and if I should choose to just plug that in, it would probably all come alive, and it would probably all work. But because it has never been fully energized before, I want to be extra careful this first time. So I'm going to wait till it's dark. And in the dark, I'll hook that up. And uh, then as the sun comes up tomorrow morning, I should be charging that battery and have uh, abundant free electrical power for, for my needs. Now, the wiring's a little ugly. I've hooked it up in prototype mode. I need to put some safety bushings around those rough edges and reroute the cables so they'll all be tidy and things. But I've left them loose right now for purposes of accessibility and troubleshooting just in case I want to document further or need to change something. But there it is. These then are the basic elements of my solar power system. The solar panels, wired through my safety fuse box, which is right there and then up into the charge controller, the brain of the operation, which takes care of charging this storage battery, and which in turn is wired to an inverter that produces household compatible AC power. We are very pleased that so many people are finding our content on YouTube. However, if you are using only YouTube to explore these clips, you're missing out on a lot of the best information. Please join us at AskMrWizard.com, where you'll find this clip, all of the related clips easily located, along with related text, illustrations, and advertisements from vendors that sell related equipment. You'll also find forums where you can ask and receive answers to your questions. Your support at our site keeps us going, and we appreciate it. Thanks.